Hey everyone, Carter from Basement Pets here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all some of the coolest species of widow spiders. The ones you probably will hear most about is the Southern Black Widow, otherwise known as Latrodectus mecans. This spider is commonly known as the Southern Black Widow, as I said before, and it's the typical one that the average person will think of when thinking of a widow spider. The Brown Widow spider is another really common one to hear about. Although these spiders are really amazing, there are many other widow spiders out there that are super, super fascinating. Today I'll be showing you some of the widow spiders that are my favorites, and I also may butcher some of the scientific names because a lot of them are very long and hard to pronounce. Before I show you these spiders, I'm gonna give you a little disclaimer and also I'm gonna tell you that it's really important to know that the males are much smaller and generally have less color than the females so in the pictures I show you mostly the female widow spiders. The first spider I want to show is called the Latrodecus imbuquinae. The spider is very similar to the southern black widow but has some really interesting white circle markings and some more red markings on their backs. These spiders live in South Africa in very threatened ancient forests. The spider was not found until 2014 and is in danger due to deforestation. The next spider I want to show is called the Latrodectus corallinius. This spider has even more red markings and they're in a super super interesting pattern. They can be found in Argentina and are especially seen in March and December. The next species on the list is called the redback spider or also known as the Latrodectus hasselti. This is a quite common spider in Australia and has a really interesting red line on their back, hence the name redback spider. This spider is the closest relative of the Latrodectus capito, which is the next spider on the list. The Latrodectus capito is also known as the capito spider and this spider has a really interesting pattern and is actually quite in danger. The capito is native to the island of New Zealand and is a very specific habitat. There are two color variants of the species in New Zealand, one is the black and one is the normal. These were thought to be a different species for quite a while and now are known to be the same exact species. The juveniles of this species are also absolutely amazing looking. Another spider that has stunning patterns is called the Latrodectus elegans. This spider's patterns almost remind me of like a hammerhead shark or a burst of fire. I guess the dangerous looking markings remind predators it has pretty strong venom. Another spider with a really similar red pattern is called the Latrodectus curcavinensis. Personally, I find it crazy how some of these spiders have so much red on them while others have almost none. One of these spiders with almost no red is called the Latrodectus pallidius. This spider is actually almost completely white and has a bit of brown on it as well. This awesome and unique widow spider is found through North Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. I find this one really interesting because it's not at all what I would expect from widow spiders. Although these spiders may not have some super complex patterns, the Latrodectus tridet... Tredisimguttidus? Tredisim guttidus has some very interesting and complex patterns that almost look like they are a mix between a ladybug and a widow spider. The Latin name of the spider means with 13 spots. Another one with really interesting red spots is called the Latrodectus bishope, or the red widow spider, and also has a red body, which is really crazy to me. And these awesome looking spiders come from Florida. Now I'm going to be sharing my personal favorite. Although I think all of the spiders that I've shared in this list so far are super cool, this amazing spider is called the Latrodectus bariolus. As you can see, the spider has red and black legs, white stripes, and orange spots. It is so colorful. Something that I personally love about this species is that even the males have really nice colors. This spider is often found in the northern parts of the US and has the common name of the Northern Black Widow. As you can see, there are far more than one a widow spider. In fact, there are many species that look very different and amazing in their own way. Although these are some truly amazing animals, and they're usually not inclined to bite, be very cautious when interacting with them because a bite would not be fun. As always, thank you all for watching. I'm super grateful for all of you guys that make it to the end of these videos. If you're making it to the end of this video, it'd be awesome if you subscribed because I'm thinking about doing some more Widow Spider content in the future. That's a little bit of a hint. And like the video if you liked it. Alright, bye.